the academic staff union of universities ASU have claimed that the World Bank and International Monetary Fund IMF are actively undermining Nigerians public education. This accusation was made as the union expressed frustration over the prolonged delay in the re re negotiating its 2009 agreement with the federal government. Despite multiple memoranda of understanding and memoranda of action, as President Prof. Professor Emmanuel Osodeke lamented that the agreement remains unsigned. During the Heroes Day event of during the Heroes Day event of the Honor Pass and current members for their sacrifice to improve public education program, Professor Osedike cited the late Professor Fessus Iai, a former ASU president, and others who have contributed significantly to ASU's mission. Speaking this during during speaking this during this um, Heroes Day 2024 and 2025 ceremony in Abuja. The Osedeke highlighted additional grievances, including the enforced integrated personnel and payroll information system and the withholding of ASU members' salaries for three and a half months. ASU also announced the distribution of PAG grants worth 500,000 Naira each to selected members following, following rigorous proposal evaluations. Professor Osodeke commended members for their resilience in defending Nigeria's public university system and expressed solidarity with ASU. Uh, and members facing hardship in Kogi State, Uni Kogi State University, Lagos State University, Eboyi State University, and Chukwe Mecca Odumegu Ojuku University. Uh, this is another call for action his royal chief i would love to get your critical thoughts of analysis on this you know when a, when a, when a country pay lip service to education you, you you are expecting um uh, insurgency you are expecting um, criminality you you are expecting banditry because if you don't take you don't place premium priority in your educational systems and ensuring that those that have been trained to impart knowledge into our children are well taken care of. It's become disastrous to us as Nigerians because this is a critical area. Remember, the new Minister of Education recently revived the decision taken by the former Minister of Education on 16 to 18 years. Uh, uh, for our children to write, uh, to be admitted into the, the, university. the universities. And up to this moment, since 20, 2009 agreement signed by ASU and the federal government, they have not signed it. Pushing it to the World Bank and pushing it to the IMF, for me, I, I don't think uh, um, the World Bank have the superpower if the federal government had no political will to sign this document. So they should have taken it back to the federal government like they've been doing. Okay? Mm. Be taken because there is no order given to the World Bank. There is no order from anywhere given to the World Bank and they failed to implement it. So I, I, I was trying to look at the statement. As is, are they saying that the, the money has already been paid to World Bank or are they saying that the, world, the counterpart funding that's supposed to come from the World Bank, they are refused to release to ASU? So, it, for me, it's a little bit contradicting. A little bit contradicting. Because I was thinking that all the effort was the federal government. The federal government. They will reference the 2009 agreement. There are a lot of memorandum of understanding and memorandum of action signed by former government, previous government, previous administration, and previous. Uh, prominent uh, professors of ASU's uh, leadership. So I think um, strike has never been the best option for me. Mm. They should go back to more negotiation table. Let's see how they can do a roundtable uh, discussion for that deepening the discussion. Now that they have a new minister of uh, for education, I think the person can be of a listening ear. So there's a misconception somewhere yes. or misinformation for the reason of this council yes bias. yes for me for me the statement is not that clear for me so for me the statement is not more that clear but i would have advised our, our professors and those that are in the universities 
that are doing their job should also as we should meet with the current minister of education let's let them strategize the best way so that that 2009 agreement should be signed well why do you think it has not been signed up till now government subsequently they will promise that you know recently frequently ASUS are always on strike, demanding mm. for the benefit of workers from different uh, angles and from different aspects, okay? And the government will be saying that, don't worry, you know, the previous administration, uh, Dr. Chris Ngigi, was also interfacing with them as a minister of uh, labor then, yes, mm. minister of labor and productivity, I think so, yes. Now, we have a current minister now. I think their relationship should be cordial so that we can we can see results. It's not about taking action sometimes because after long time strike, which affects children, affect our university system, and sometimes give way for private university to be ahead of the public university. So I think it is the right time they come together and ensure that they do further discussion to ensure that that agreement should be signed and whatever benefit accrued to them should be given to them. Okay, so there should be...